everyone. My name is Tiffany. This is a photo of me and my daughter. I am kneeling down next to her smiling as she holds her pink white cane with a smile on her face. I wanted to start by sharing a quote about butterflies. We delight in the beauty of the butterfly, but rarely admit the changes it has gone through to achieve that beauty. The outside world often looks at parents who are raising children with disabilities with admiration of their strength and patience. What people don't see are the challenging moments and the hardship. But like the butterfly, with hope and perseverance, we adapt and learn to start fresh with our newfound wings. My journey into motherhood began with my daughter, Brielle. This is a photo of myself holding Brielle as an infant. My eyes are closed as I am hugging my new baby. I was excited to be a mom, but at the same time nervous of what motherhood would look like for me. When Brielle was about four months old, I noticed something was off with her vision. Other babies her age would look at their moms and interact with them. It hurt my heart that Brielle would not look at me or look at all the things I wanted to show her. Our family and friends would try to be encouraging and tell me she was just fine or maybe just delayed, but I knew deep in my heart it was something more. In this photo, Brielle is lying on her back, smiling. Because Brielle was not seeing her world or people's facial expressions, she rarely smiled. It felt like a victory to see her smile. And it was a reminder for me that despite what she could not see, Brielle was still happy. After many doctor's appointments, MRIs, eye exams, and genetic testing, I got the answer to my questions and fears. Brielle was born blind due to a rare eye disease affecting her retinas. The first blind person I ever met was my daughter. At the time, I did not have much time to process this diagnosis. I left the doctor's office holding my baby, no resources or guidance on what to do next. I felt scared and alone, but as us moms must do, I pulled myself together and moved forward into my journey as a mom to my blind daughter. I made it my mission to learn how to best support Brielle and her needs. I made a lot of phone calls and did a ton of research online. And I finally stumbled, stumbled across an organization called Braille Institute in California. I was put in touch with a lady from their childhood development program. She told me about a family event they were hosting for blind and visually impaired children and their families. My husband and I jumped on the opportunity and were excited for our first adventure in supporting our daughter who was blind. In this photo, my husband and I are holding Brielle at the event. It was a holiday party. We were one of the first families there. I was holding Brielle and moments later, I saw a mom walk into the room, holding the hand of her three-year-old daughter. Her daughter was holding a cane. A tear fell down my face as I got a glimpse of what our future might look like. One day, that will be me walking next to Brielle and her cane. Looking back, there was really nothing sad about it. The little girl and mom were smiling and happy. But it was the realization that all the hopes and dreams I had for my daughter and for myself as a mother were going to look quite a bit different than I had imagined and planned. At the event through Braille Institute, I was able to learn about early intervention services through the school district. I quickly enrolled Brielle in our school district and she began receiving services in our home. We were blessed to have an impactful teacher for the visually impaired. From the very beginning, this woman taught us to have high expectations for Brielle and to treat her no different than if she were sighted. This is a picture of Brielle standing and holding onto my hands as we practice walking. Brielle was very hesitant to walk. While she was learning to walk, I was learning to shape my perception of blindness. For the first time, I finally had someone to not only help my daughter, but to also guide me as a parent and answer the many questions I had. At the time, I felt very isolated as a mom, raising a child that is blind. 
I had no one to relate to, but I had one person come to our home every week who had the answers to my many questions, and she relieved a lot of my fears. As Brielle got older, we took what our teacher for the visually impaired said and treated Brielle no differently. We did all the things with her we would have done had she been sighted. In this photo, we are at a water park. Brielle is holding onto my hand while reaching out to touch water at a splash pad. Many times in public, people would make comments about Brielle's head being down or her eyes being closed. Why is she so tired? Oh, is she falling asleep? Or what's wrong with her? Why is her head down? Hearing these comments over and over again was very frustrating. People didn't mean any harm by them, but I was still adjusting. And every time someone would comment about my daughter, it was just a reminder for me that my baby is different. I would just smile and sometimes didn't have the energy to explain. So I would say, yeah, she's tired. Other times I would say she is blind and people were always quick to say, how sad. I would usually just find a way to exit the conversation and go about my way. They were right though about sad, I was sad. I had a lot to learn and it was overwhelming and the constant reminders that my baby had a disability made me sad. But Brielle was not sad. She was very happy in fact. Sometimes I would forget she was blind and we enjoyed the moments of Brielle smiling and laughing. And every time Brielle reached a milestone, though sometimes a little late, I was proud and excited. Brielle learned to sit up, crawl, walk, and talk. And even though she could not see, and I had to learn to be creative in the ways to teach her, we learned together, and that outweighed all the times I felt sad. As Brielle grew into a toddler and began using a cane, the cane was a symbol to the rest of the world that she was blind. By this time, I had more tools in my toolbox and began to feel more confident in teaching the world about Brielle, who just so happened to be blind. I always dressed Brielle, as in this picture, in a cute outfit, which usually consisted of her cowgirl boots and a big bow in her hair. Every time we stepped into public, I wanted the world to see her first for how darling she was then for her blindness, and it worked. Whenever we went out, we got a lot of looks. At first, I'm sure, because of her cane and the fact that most people have never seen a young blind child. But those stares quickly turned into smiles and compliments, which broke the ice and allowed me an opportunity to educate others. This is the picture of Brielle sitting at a desk writing on her Perkins Braille writer. When Brielle started kindergarten, I was worried about how her peers would accept her. But the bigger challenge I feared was how do I explain my daughter's blindness to her? All her life, she has heard us talk openly about blindness. However, she did not fully understand what that meant or how it pertained to her. Brielle attends public school where she is the only blind student. She's the only one who reads Braille and uses a cane. There have been so many moments parenting a blind child where I have felt alone and isolated. I could only imagine what that might feel like for her, being the only child that is blind all the time. I knew that I had to find a way to build a community for her where she was not the only one. When Brielle was six years old, she began attending a Saturday music program with the Academy of Music for the Blind. In this photo, Brielle is holding her ukulele while pressing the keys on a piano. She is working with one of her instructors who is also blind on tuning her ukulele. Every Saturday, we make our way to music school where there are canes tapping all around us. All the kids read Braille, all the kids are blind, just like Brielle. I feel at peace every Saturday because I'm finally surrounded by other parents raising children who are blind. Brielle is now eight years old. A few months ago, she asked me for the first time, mommy, am I blind? 
The question I feared for a long time. The question I was never quite sure how I would answer. But thanks to music school and all her friends and positive role models who are also blind, I was able to tell her confidently and positively, yes, that's right, you are blind. This is a picture of our family. My husband, Daniel, son, Thomas, myself, and Riel with her canine buddy, Lambo. This photo shows a happy family of four with a lovely black lab. But much like the butterfly, our journey has not always been pretty and it took many moments of hardship to get here today. My eight year journey in raising Brielle who is blind has made me stronger, softer, wiser, and so much more. What has helped me through as a parent is building a strong support system who can help in the hard times and celebrate in the good. Whether it's teachers, fellow parents, or mentors, I must thank all the people who have helped me and guided me on our journey. This is a photograph of Brielle at eight years old. She has one hand on her hip and the other hand holding her cane. She has a smile on her face wearing her cowgirl boots. Brielle is still young, and I know I still have a lot to learn, as there are always new obstacles. Having a child with a disability is hard, but Brielle has taught me to see the world through her eyes. Brielle shows me daily that despite having to work harder and overcome the many challenges that come along with being blind, she takes on the world with a cane in her hand, a smile on her face, ready to power through the struggles while embracing all the beautiful moments. And as I watch her grow through every hardship and success, my wings become more vibrantly colored and I fly with joy and pride for who I have become and who I will become next. Thank you for allowing me to share my story.